say, man, y'all know your boy up, but I gotta get that early squad something to vibe to. First thing first, let pay respect to that squad, though. Notification game check. What well, we lit then? What's poppin'? All right, fam. All right, ball checking in here. And tub, uh, think we have a lot to discuss. Now let's jump right into it. First off, salute notification game. Hitting that like button. Free start. Got a real art right, fam. Salute. Anyway, up first, we got that boy J Hood and we got that boy Takashi. Okay, so there's been a few rappers I've been trying to lay off on recording on, bro. It's that nigga Takashi and Rallo. Because I'm scrolling down YouTube and the only thing I see is Takashi and Rallo. 6 9 and fam, go. What the hell is going on? Now, to these niggas' credit, they always find a way to get themselves in the news, dog. And today, it's more the same, fam, because that boy 6 9 is in the news again, bro. We all know how 6ix9ine operate, bro. This man that got on social media yesterday and proclaimed himself the king of New York. Make statements like that, you automatically gonna piss a few people off, especially the OG, because they feel like new girl. How you gonna make some statements like that and you ain't even been out here putting in work for years? Now, Jay Hood, a former member of D Block, which is a whole nother story in itself, is fed up with everything 6ix9ine is doing and basically saying, bruh, the only reason niggas ain't touch you is because you paying for protection. What's shaking with it, man? It's your boy Hizzle on the check in and all that, you heard? Top of the top to the G's. But yo, check this shit out right here, man. I got a little message for the little nigga Takashi69, man. Who the fuck told you you was the king of New York, little nigga? You been on the spotlight for approximately four minutes and 24 seconds, man. If you don't fall back like you slipped on a banana pill, you little bozo ass nigga. <laughs> nigga, the only reason niggas ain't make you a motherfucking plate out here in the streets is because you a money bag for one of the big trades out in the K, my nigga. They're looking at you as an opportunity to generate revenue so they would never let their investment get harmed. Real niggas know what it is with the little nigga, you feel me? Little nigga be talking brazy though, fam. Like, all a nigga do is yell on tracks. He's talentless. And he's fucking shit up, man. You making the bitty look bad, you homie, you heard? Got us looking real fucking brazy out here, man. Niggas embracing goofy niggas. Of course, you got the young generation saying that, oh, man, they do it doing a whole bunch of clout chasing. And the old head saying he basically confirmed all of our speculations. Now, I'm just sitting back waiting on 6 9 response because we all know he going to say something, bro. Which leads me to a question for y'all. Do y'all believe Jay Hood or not? Up next, we got that boy, T. Grizzly. Now, this industry is full of fakes and niggas doing flaw stuff, bro. It takes some rappers quite some time to get adjusted to it, but on the other hand, some rappers don't rock with it, period, bro, no matter how long they in the game. Seems that T Grizzly is fed up with these fake rappers, bro. He had social media doing a lot of speculate yesterday. He tweeted, I'm finna start back slapping motherfuckers soon as I see him. Then he took to his IG story and said, it's about five people I'm slapping the fuck out of when I see him. On oh God, I would tag him, but I don't want y'all dodging me. Social media hell, bro. And that's when fans started going on T Grizzly Twitter and started saying, oh, you talking about such and such. Bro, they really was on that tagging different rappers, fam. Like I said, it sparked a whole lot of speculation, bro, which leads me to a question for y'all. Who do y'all think that boy T Grizzly talking about? Up next, we got that boy, NBA Youngboy. Now, NBA Youngboy got arrested over the weekend in Florida for assault, weapon violations, and kidnapping. Now, he had court Monday, but the judge denied his bail, bro. So they transported him back to Georgia so he could face those charges, and he finally arrived. And Youngboy knew more shot than hit the internet, bro. Make sure y'all sub to the channel so I can keep y'all updated on this situation as more come up. We're going to sit back and watch what unfolds with everything. I need y'all to comment down below what y'all think about this entire situation. Make sure y'all sub to the channel if you haven't. Also, follow me on IG and Twitter. I'm out of here, man. Oddball. Gone.